everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is tour time with Tyler and welcome to Blackstone. Let's check out this one. But again, don't forget I have my free mobile app. I'm gonna throw it right here. Go ahead and download it. You can see homes as soon as they hit the market before realtor.com, before Zillow, before, it, it's a bit windy today. But let's get into this one. So, this one right here, this is the plan three. This is 3,481 square feet. It actually has a three car garage. It is a total of four bed, three and a half bath. Now this home, this model is currently on the market. It is 653,885 asking price. So what's cool about this is you get everything inside it. All the furniture comes with it everything basically you buy it as is which is super cool I'm just gonna back up real quick just because I know when I always talk about new homes you don't get that backyard but with this one you do really really cool again do me that huge favor hit the like button it really really does help out with the channel make sure to subscribe and let's come on in so now I always say in all my tours if you're thinking about buying new want to buy a new home Make sure to call a realtor. If you go into the office without one, or you fill out information online, the builder is not gonna let you be represented. So if you want representation, little fun fact, by the way, as the buyer, you do not pay the realtor commission, the builder does. So I know a lot of people have been reaching out about that question. Just wanted to throw it out there. Again, all my info down in the description below. I, I like this. Before we check out this room, let's just turn in right here. Now again, there's a lot of upgrades in this home and you can take full advantage of it. So we have our coat closet and it's actually pretty good size. It does go back. So it's like, um, these are four foot tiles. So it's like almost five feet wide, which is really nice. It's not just the little tiny ones. If we spin around some more. We hit our first bathroom. And it's funny seeing doors on the model just because again, usually they're in the garage. So they've started putting this home back together with the doors and all that kind of stuff. Nice countertops. They even have the backsplash. Are they the proper? Sometimes they do bumpers in bathrooms and sock closing in kitchen. And then they will put that door handle back on. There's a lot of natural light. So we are all the way up in the very, very top of the valley. Completely all the way up here. Pretty much dead center uh, portion of Vegas. This is a cool room. So I believe they had the option to actually do a master bedroom or no, the master bedroom is downstairs. I think this could have been another bedroom or maybe even two, it's huge, but I love this. So again, all of this was upgraded. Normally you're gonna have carpet in this area. You're not gonna have all of these built-ins, all the TVs, I believe that's a real TV, it looks like it. And then one, two, three, four, five, there's seven speakers in the ceiling. Lots of natural light. And they already have the wires ran for lighting, for artwork. It's a big room. I would do an office, a Peloton, and just have this be like my fun, like Zen work area. It's big. You can even put waters. It is a wine fridge right there. Let's go ahead and head on upstairs. Oh, before we do again, how cool are these lights? It's almost like, like fishnet around them. It's cool, it's really cool. So let's go ahead and head on upstairs. Again, make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. And again, if you have questions, please, please, please reach out to me. And again, if you buy this home, you get everything. You get the beds, you get the desk, you get pretty much, all you need is your pillow and your toothbrush and you're home. 
So huge loft, really, really, really big loft. There's two speakers up in the ceiling right here. They did can lights. There's even a pre-wire for a ceiling fan and or light chandelier, whatever you want to put. And again, a lot of natural light. It's a big, this is a huge room. And even, yeah, this is a real TV. So you get the real TV even. This is cool. I know my, again, I talk about it. My mom's an elementary school teacher. So this would be cool if you have kids and they're studying or working from home. Now, I did notice this and I walked through it earlier. This is something that they will fix. Or usually, sometimes they'll negotiate. Sometimes they may take down a little bit off the price. But usually they fix every structural item. Coming on out and around. There's even a speaker right here in the hall. So again, you'll get the artwork. First bedroom, and it's an ensuite. And there's can lights. So those cans were 100% an upgrade. They have the pre-wire cap, so you can put another ceiling fan, light fixture. It's a nice size room, and these are nine foot ceilings, so it makes the room feel even bigger. I mean, there's so much room for activities. They do need to replace a battery, apparently. But full size bed, desk, chair. It's got a little plant, but not huge. It's a nice size bedroom. I wish my bedroom growing up was this big. And then, I don't know what will go here, but eventually something will. There's really a chirp. You could see the strip from here. And it's even a little bit bigger in natural eye. It's a cool room. So again, this room, oh, I didn't show you. They even have this cool Lego set. This room is an ensuite, which is super neat that it has its own bathroom. So basically like its own little junior suite. So it's very interesting flooring and I'm sure the camera isn't doing it justice, but love the oversized vanity. They even did the backsplash. We have our toilet and then our tub shower combo. Again, a lot of people actually like this. This is a fiberglass composite because there's no grout. There's no grout lines to clean. You have your shower head, you have your valve, you have your tub filler. And I do like that there at least is a place to put soaps and shampoos. I know I always joke about the soap niche, but nice bathroom. And the fact that it's an ensuite is even nicer. Coming down the hall. First linen closet that's massive. Really, really nice, nice linen closet. And then you could even add more. And it's these little things too. You, you always wanna walk through the house, especially on models. Make sure everything has been touched up because people have been in them. So you always want a couple sets of eyes if possible or just someone you really trust. I do like this bathroom a lot. There's a lot of counter space, no medicine cabinets, but it's really, really well done. And I love the fact that there's a second door here to close off the toilet area too. We have our towel bar in a sensible place. <laughs> Sometimes it's like in the closet down the hall. And then again, same exact tub shower combo. We have our valve filler and then I really like this countertop and this cabinet it's just it's a big vanity so I'm gonna show you over this again I really really like these lights and I wish more builders would do like these big drop chandelier pendant style it's just really neat right here so next bedroom and you could see that that first bedroom had can lights this doesn't, so that was an electrical package. They obviously did this really cool chandelier. They did that instead of the, the cans because you could see in the other ones, they didn't even have the chandelier or anything like that. 
Ooh, it's interesting on camera seeing that wall. But before we go over there, again, really nice sized room. It needs a tree. <laughs> but we have four windows and I know it's the lighting's blowing it out, but I could see the mountains from here. It's really pretty. You have these windows. Now this is like handwriting. But from far away, it looks a little odd, at least on the camera. It doesn't look like that in person. It actually is pretty cool. So again, two door closet slider, full size bed, two nightstands. You could even, if you needed more closet space, bump that bar up or even just hang a second one because that bar is pretty high. It's a really nice size room. Coming into this one. So this so far is the smallest room, but again, relative terms, full size bed, it has a little desk. You could put a decent sized desk in here because that dresser could be, not dresser, excuse me, that nightstand could be pushed over. You could even put a bigger nightstand. Again, two windows. This one does have can lighting. Again, another electrical package. So it doesn't have the chandelier. But compared to some rooms, this is still a very, very nice sized room. It's just it's smaller than the other two that we've seen. You have your two door slider. You have a chair. And then hopefully I can show you out this one and the camera picks up the lighting. So it is really pretty with all the mountains. Let me know what you think about this one. Is this your style? I, I really like this style. It's a mix enough of modern and contemporary. It's just, it feels homey. Let's go ahead and head on downstairs. Again, if you have questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to help you out in any way possible. Also, make sure to do me that huge favor and hit the like button. Again, it really does help out with that YouTube algorithm. So downstairs, let's go find the master bedroom. So you have a little nook right here. It's like four by, no, like two by six. So you can put a little table. A lot of people put like lamps or trees. Let me hit the light real quick. This is awesome. And there's a second light down here. So a lot of storage. This even has the little smart switches so you can control some of these lights with your phone. And then your living, dining, kitchen. Before we check out all of this good stuff, let's head over to the bedroom. And again, with this home being on the market, you're gonna get the backyard done. You're not gonna have to worry about doing it because it would be dirt normally. So coming all the way down, we hit our master bedroom. I'm a little surprised that they didn't put can lighting in here, but they did put speakers. They did put the pre-wire. You even have these really cool like orb pendant lights for your reading lights. So it's a big room. It needs a bench and a tree or something. Because the, there's, there's a lot of extra space in here. Full size bed, two nightstands. Is that paint or wallpaper? It's wallpaper. It's actually really well done. It's not too, mm, what's the right word? Clunky. Sometimes these wallpapers, especially if you saw my other video with the cheetah print, that was a bit much. So all of these windows. It's a wide bedroom. There's a lot of space. I like these orbs. And there's a lot of natural light. That was the only lighting on in there besides those two little things. So master bath. Really nice, big vanities again. And they even did the picture frame glass. I like this. <laughs> it's nice. They even did the little backsplash. And then standard tub shower. Fiberglass composite, separate though. So you have your valve, you have your filler. They do have a little bench and soap niche. It's nice. I wish they had done this, but I know they can't overdo the homes because they will not appraise. 
So had they put the tile in there, I think this would have been a home run. But we'll get over to the kitchen again here in a minute. We'll show you that because I just walked into the house and saw it all. It's really nice in the kitchen. So we have our linen closet straight across. We have our toilet area. And again, I joke about it all the time. I don't know why they do these windows so low. Again, it's Vegas, but not everyone wants to put on a show because like, hello. So another nice thing, you already get your window treatment. You're not gonna have to worry about going out and getting blinds and all that kind of stuff before even using the home. So it even has, this is a mirror. And then nice size closet. It's interesting that they don't have the shelving in right there because that usually is what they do. I don't know what they were thinking. Maybe, maybe because the attic or not the attic, that would be the crawl space access right there, but still, huh? I would put like all the shelves right here for folded clothes or shoes or bags or anything like that. And then I would move up one of these bars so that you still have the longer area for your hanging garments or dresses or garment suit bags. But if you move it up, put a second one, you could literally double that whole area of closet space. And you know what? There's a mirror on this side too. I was not expecting that. And you could even do an island for watches, jewelry, ties, belts, all of that kind of stuff. Let's go ahead and head on back around. I do like this room. Show you the kitchen, the living and the dining. Again, you're gonna get all this artwork. This is how the house will come when you purchase it. So laundry room. It's nice size, it's really big, and it has upgrades all around. You're actually gonna get the washer and dryer. Normally, that is 100% an option. It's more expensive to go through the builder. They even did the sink, they did the lowers, they did the uppers. I would just put like maybe a bar right here, because I like to hang dry my nicer shirts than putting them through the, um, the dryer, but uh, it's, it's nice. It's a big laundry room. This is a nice kitchen. I'm gonna make you wait just a bit more to show the kitchen. Right here we have our living room. Could you imagine just moving right into this? Literally, you need your pillow and your toothbrush. Well, and your clothes, but I mean, you're done. You're ready to move in. You don't have to get a single piece of furniture. Again, they have the can lights. They have the center light that you can do a uh, chandelier or a fan. Most people probably do a fan. There's two speakers in the room. Real quick, I'm just gonna show you the backyard. Again, I know I always talk about when you buy new, the backyard's not gonna be done. This, done. So they have pavers dirt and I wonder if they're gonna leave it dirt or they're gonna change it up I know I actually saw pictures of this before and this was concrete and it had a big crack in it and they had they obviously redid it so I don't know what they're doing here but it's gonna be dirt you do have the outdoor barbecue they have the lights and what's cool it seems like that's one of those little solar cells that detects light so these might be automatic they might just automatically turn on at night we have a gas stub right here. We have a fire pit, but it's interesting they covered it up. So I can see the glass. This is actually party board. So if you know what that is, it's like a cement board. You put it in uh, showers, like before you put the towel down. And then it's a nice size backyard. I'm just gonna try to spin around. Let's go ahead, get back inside, show the rest of the house. So again, make sure to hit the like button. Again, it really, really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget, I put new tours out every single day. So we have our kitchen area. I like this. It's a very similar, it might even be the same stone as in the bathrooms. It's nice, it's a little bit of flake in it. It looks good with the white and the gray. 
we have our overhang for our chairs. And then straight across, one, two, there's like, what, six, seven feet between here. It's really nice how big and open it is. We have, what, eight person dining area. All these windows. And then even more windows over here. I know maybe on this model they had it, but they have the option on most of their homes to do that as a slider as well. So right here we have our dishwasher. We have our undermounted Blanco sink. If you know sinks, these are like six to $800 sinks. So double basin, really nice. Here's your view. You can pretty much see everything. One, I, I like this. <laughs> it's pretty nice. Again, we have more storage. And then I'm gonna spin back around to show you this side. They obviously did do quite a bit of options in here. They did a half backsplash. They did the uppers. They did the light underneath. You have these on both sides of your cooktop. These are your pot and pan drawers. So, you know, you don't have to lose them way in the back of a cabinet. So cool seeing that. So you have whole set here, whole set there. You have your five burner cooktop. You have your vent hood. Again, more lighting. Now this is a convection microwave. You can cook a chicken in it because it actually doubles as an oven and then your uh, actual oven. Before we head into the, uh, or not laundry area, the pantry area, we have our little espresso area and we have a really nice refrigerator. That will come with that. Usually when you buy homes, the refrigerator, washer, dryer do not come with it unless you opt for it. So right here, we have built-ins. Again, they match the kitchen. And then what's cool with this one is we can actually check out the garage real quick. So I don't think it comes with the second refrigerator, but I actually like how wide these garages, a lot of times the garages aren't this wide, which is super cool seeing this. And then here is our, see there's even more doors, our third car garage space. So tandem plus two. And then they even updated, or not updated, but what would be the right word? Optioned up the pantry. And these are super cool. Again, they're not just the white wood. You can move these up or move them down depending on how big of items you have there. So you really have some more customization with it. Let me know what you think about this one. Really nicely done. Again, this home is currently on the market. If you purchase it, you get everything, which is it's almost the way to buy if you're moving out from a different state. Just be done. Again, love to hear your thoughts on this one. If you have any questions, please, please, please reach out to me. All my info down in the description below. Make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. And as always, Thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.